So the new Spar is in and this airplane is better structurally than the day she came out of the factory. Everything has had corrosion protection applied to it and all the paperwork is completely in order and fully verified for the new Spar that was purchased and installed. This was something that was extremely important to me because when I was looking for a new Spar, I came across a few Spars that I really wasn't comfortable with from the paperwork side. That is very important. This spar came with a complete folder of documents, a current 8130, a current and just perfect eddy inspection report, and it was in beautiful shape. Uh, the work that was done at Posada Aviation was absolutely meticulous, and I popped in every few days just to make sure they have everything they needed and to see how it was going, and I didn't want to get in the way at, at all. They did an exquisite job, and if you are ever in this predicament, call Posada Aviation and start the conversation because it may be worth having the wings removed of your plane and having it shipped down to Zephyr Hills, Florida and have them do the work. So the complete install was around $20,000 in labor and the new spar was around $12,500. Um, for rebuilding your aircraft, that's a fair price. And um, the mechanics just did a beautiful job and it had excellent oversight. Not a single aspect of this job was overlooked. And when it was all done, the owner of the shop took it for a test flight and took it up to 1.6 positive G's and negative 0.4 G's. He did slow turns, slow flight, I mean, steep turns, slow flight, um, stalls, and the plane performed flawlessly and he really stood behind his work. Then I took it up myself and here's how that went. Alrighty. Okay, airspeed is alive on the G5, airspeed is alive on the steam gauge. Slowly bringing it up to 2450. 2450 is reached, we're at 61, 65, we're gonna rotate. All right, what I wanna do is take her up to 3000 and um, do a power off stall. All right, 3,000 feet, and we will just do a power off stall here. And what we're going to do is just take her off. Full mixture. Just going to take her right until she stalls and bring her back. There she goes. And... Fine. Okay, steep turn to the left. And let's get that over there. Snap it over and do one to the right. Lost my dot. There it is. Oh, lost my dot, lost my dot. Don't bust 100 feet. I know, 50, I didn't see that. All right, and there it is. It feels good to get back into this plane. 
I kind of don't want to sell it just because... Seven Hills traffic, helicopter SO12 is turning final for one line behind landing traffic number two. Seven Hills. Seven Hills. I am uh, pretty sure that I'm going to sell it. Seven Hills traffic, helicopter SO12 is turning final for one line behind landing traffic number two. I'm emotionally attached to this airplane. And I don't want to sell it. But I want to move up. I want something bigger. And I love this little airplane. It's done me right. But I'm gonna sell it because I want to move up. Separate traffic, 221 Frankie, short final runway, 19, separate. All right. And let's get the rest of them down here. Uh, let's trim that up. Woo! bit of thud there that was not necessary so this plane is back in service it's in fantastic shape and yes I am going to sell it there is another video on that and the reason I'm selling it is because I want to move up to something bigger and better and something that goes faster flies a little bit farther and flies a little bit higher I'm completely confident that this airplane is safe and ready to return to service, and I would never sell anything that's a problem or a problem that's waiting to happen to somebody. This plane has changed my life for the better, and I want this plane to do the same for the next owner. So if you are in this predicament, call Persada Aviation and begin the conversation, or feel free to reach out to me, and I can tell you everything about my experience of redoing this bar. So I hope you learned something. I hope that uh, that you call Posada Aviation to get some, um, you know, just to get some tips and, and some information about if you are in this predicament. And of course, if you are over 50 and want to get into flying, you got to get up in the air. So thanks for watching.